In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to customize GIMP's interface. Uh, there are many ways you can customize GIMP's interface and I've chosen for this tutorial to customize it to look a bit more like Photoshop. Of course you can customize it any way you like, but for this uh, particular exercise I have chosen Photoshop. And what you are looking at right now is the end result and as you can see uh, the toolbox looks a bit more like Photoshop, the window is now a full screen window and the layers, channels and paths are below here. So um, let's start. Here we see the GIMP default interface and as you can see it looks quite different to the picture we saw just now of the Photoshop interface. And I'm going to take you step by step what to do and how to change it. Uh, don't worry if you do anything wrong uh, or want to change it back later in the next video I will tell you how to how you can change it all back again so I'm just gonna start and first I'm gonna make this tiny window here fit the whole screen by dragging it up and to the side and to the side again and down so there you've got it now I need to and now I'm gonna make a new file File, new, and click OK. Any file is fine. I just want to show the guides. Next thing I'm going to do is undock the two options from the tool, from the toolbox. I'm sorry. And for this, you have to click on the fat uh, bold letter word. Uh, for me, it says paint word. For you, it can say something else like foreground selection, but on this word. Uh, with the bold letters you have to click then drag this to the middle of your screen. You must also do this with your layers dialog and if you don't have a layers dialog you've probably closed it on an earlier time and then go to windows, recently closed docs, channels, paths, undo, process, patterns etc and click on it and then your layers dialog will pop up and then you click on layers, the fat lettering here and drag it to the middle of your screen. Now close this. And next thing we're going to do is make the toolbox look more like a Photoshop toolbox. For this we're dragging this up and this to the left. Okay. Okay, here we go. Need to drag it a little bit more up and down and there you have it nicely there now the layers we want to the bottom here and the two options we want here in the corner uh, to dock the layers it's quite easy you stand with your mouse on the fat bold letter layers here and you click and you move it to here and when you do this this line will become a bit darker and once the line is darker you can let go of your mouse and for you it will be docked for me it won't because whenever I try to dock it and I am recording my screen it doesn't work so I'm gonna stop recording for now and I will be right back Okay, I'm back and I have my layers dialog docked to my tool options, but it still doesn't look very well. So at the bottom, drag this down like this. And if you hover over here in the middle, you can drag it up and down a bit to your own liking. Now we just closed this uh, other tab here, but there were several tabs in there that we want back and we're gonna um, put them all back now. For this you have to uh, hover over, have to go to this tiny little arrow and when you hover over, the, over it with your mouse it says configure this tab. Click on it, go to add tab and channels to get your channels back. We want our paths back too so click on it, add tab and go to paths. I also want the undo history back, so click and configure this tab, add tab, 
and undo history. Up here we're going to do the same. There's also this little configure this tab arrow and I'm going to click on it, add tab and I'm going to add brushes. And now I'm going to click on it, add tab and I'm going to add patterns. And the last thing I want to add, click on it, add tab, is the gradients. So now we're almost done, but as you can see, these are all icons, and this is probably still an icon for you too. And we want this to be text, just like in Photoshop. So I'm going to start with my layers, and I click on this tab, and then again this little arrow, and I click on it and go down to tab styles and click on text. Click on the channels, and again tab styles, text. Click on paths, and again tab styles, text. And click on undo history, and configure this tab, text styles, text. Up here we're going to do the same, these three still needs to be done. Configure this tab, tab styles, text. Configure this tab, no, sorry, <laughs> here is configure this tab, but it must be done on the patterns. And tab style, text, and the last one, configure this tab, tab styles, text, and we're done. Now the layers, channels and paths have uh, it all saying in words instead of icons, and same goes for the two options. You can still drag this out a bit to give you a little bit more room, so you can add more tabs later, and you can also, once you get used to it, just go back to icons here, tab style, icons or current status if you like, but for this exercise we don't need to. And here on the bottom you have your layers, channels and paths. Um, what more do we want to say? Yes, the next video. In the next video, like I said, I will first explain how to undo all this, and um, but if you do don't want to undo it, then I will continue after that to explain how to customize Photoshop. Oh, 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 oh. how to customize GIMP to look and act a bit more like Photoshop. So stay tuned and watch the next video. Sorry, I'm back for a sec because I forgot to say something. When you actually do come from Photoshop, then uh, it looks a lot alike now, but one thing is different and that is where the two options are. In GIMP they're here, but in Photoshop when you are working with one of the tools and you want to see the options of those tools, they are below the menu here. And of course you cannot find them here in GIMP, but then all you need to do is look here and these are the two options and options and when you look at say the marquee tool or the rectangle select tool you can see that this is the same as in Photoshop and lots of it is the same sometimes it's called differently but um, this is where you have to look when you normally used to looking up here <laughs>